Hey everyone, so I'm going to do my July favorites and I cannot believe it's already almost the end of July. I didn't want to put this off until August like I did for the June one. My first favorite of the month is my new foundation, Clinique Even Better. And what I love about this is I used, I think I talked about this in the haul, but ah, I'm going to call so much today. Okay, sorry, that was my cousin. Um, okay, so I talked about this in my haul, but I'm going to talk about it again because I love it. Clinique Even Better Foundation. This is, well, I use, I told you guys this, but I used Superfit Foundation from Clinique for like eight years. And I loved it, but it started to just not work with my skin. When I started using it, I was a teenager, I had really bad acne, and it was the type of foundation that was supposed to kind of mattify you and stay on throughout the day through sweat and working out and heat and humidity and all that stuff. And I actually have really dry skin now because I went on Accutane, which is an acne medication. It ended up getting completely clearing my face, but the side effect was I have really dry skin now. So it just doesn't work for me anymore, and everything I try breaks me out. So I decided to try another Clinique foundation, and I love this. Um, the color's a little bit dark for me, as you guys can see a little bit. Um, it's probably like half a shade or a shade too dark. And when she was putting it on me, she kept convincing me that it wasn't too dark. But I think it is a little bit too dark, which is the story of my life because I really like light skin and this was the lightest color that was not too peach on me which I have really neutral tones so I can't go too peach or too yellow. It has SPF 15 and it also has some sort of thing in it that's supposed to um, even out your skin tone over time. It's supposed to kind of like lighten your freckles and stuff so yeah big favorite. Favorite number two I just did a tutorial with is the CoverGirl Shimmering Sands Trio. Looks like that. You guys can see I've used it. And I adore this. I am not a huge fan of drugstore eyeshadows. I just tend to buy them for tutorials and then I don't use them in real life because I just have a ton of makeup. And um, this is actually one I've been reaching for a lot lately. I've probably worn it every day this week. So I highly recommend going and getting this. I, like I said, I just did a drugstore tutorial so you guys can go watch that if you want to see this in use. But I love it. Next favorite is my new Fresh Twilight. Um, illuminating cream primer whatever it is and I love this I've been using it every day to highlight areas of my face now you guys have to remember I have dry skin so making my skin more dewy with a product is something that I like to do if I had oily skin I would not want to be illuminating my face with a cream shimmering you know a shimmery cream um, I would definitely be trying to mattify myself, but I'm kind of the opposite. I'm trying to dewy myself up. I got it at Sephora, so you guys can check that out. Um, next favorite is my Laura Mercier concealer that I got the other day, and this one is a duo, so it has two colors. One's like this one's peachy, and then this one's skin toned, and then it comes with a powder underneath. I don't use the powder just because I just don't. Um, but I do use the peachy side first to, cut, to cancel out blue, and then I put the skin toned one on. This is the lightest trio. It's the Undercover Pot number one. There's four different shades, so this one works really well for me. And what I like about it the most is how creamy it is, because I own four or five MAC concealers, and... I do love them, I do love MAC, but I, I find them a little bit drying, all of them, especially the one in the pot, the Studio Fix or whatever, Studio Finish, and um, that's the one I like the most because it has the most coverage, but I find it really drying. This one's really super creamy, and I like that. Next favorite is my Lancome High Resolution Colossor 5H, 5X, sorry. It's the anti-aging serum and it looks like this. And the reason that I love this is you're supposed to put it under your makeup, under your moisturizer, AM and PM. I only use it in the PM because I just, it's kind of expensive so I just use it at night. My mom is in love with this stuff. I, I almost feel bad. I should have just given her this bottle because I knew she, she told me she would go buy herself one but I knew she wouldn't and she didn't so now I feel bad. So maybe I'll just buy her one because I know she won't buy herself one. But basically what it is is it's a um, anti-aging serum that you put on under your moisturizer at night and it firms your skin up and it actually 
actually like you can feel it I'm not even kidding this stuff is amazing if you are trying to prevent aging or if you even have light wrinkles fine lines um, I tend to concentrate it right around this area and then because um, I use an eye cream too and my forehead and then any extra I have I rub around my mouth area because those are where you get fine lines and wrinkles and I can definitely my skin feels firmer when I put this on and I'm not just saying that because I've tried a lot of anti-aging serums lately because I'm really into that right now and this is the only one that I really can say oh my gosh I totally noticed a difference so I think this is going to be one of those things that is going to be it, I lost the cap I think it's under my bed but I think this is going to be one of the things that will stay on my vanity for years and years because I really do feel like it works. So, and anything to prevent fine lines and wrinkles, I'm totally for because I don't want them. I know I'm young, I'm 21, but, um, you know, prevention is key. So, yeah. Okay, and then my last favorite, I think, if I'm not forgetting some somewhere, is fresh supernova mascara which is my newest mascara and I adore it um, I already have a mascara on but I'm gonna put some of this on anyway I like layering my mascaras for some reason I love this I don't really know why maybe because I wanted it for so long that mentally I feel like I love it but I really do love it um, it gives me lots of volume it doesn't clump and that's I feel like all mascaras clump maybe I'm just a really bad mascara putter on her but this is this is really good it doesn't lengthen which is the one drawback I think that this mixed with L'Oreal telescopic would be perfect because L'Oreal telescopic lengthens like crazy but um, I love it it's my new favorite mascara and then oh one more um, my favorite lipstick of the moment is Snob by MAC, and it's a really pretty, like, Barbie purple pink. I have gloss on it. I'm putting it on anyway. It's just, like, if you're interested in going for a purple, but you don't want to be, like, bam purple, this is a really good one to start with. I think that's gorgeous. It's, like, the perfect Barbie doll lip color and I actually got this in my CCO it's not a discontinued color you can get it in you know Mac stores but I bought this at CCO because I saw it and I was like oh because CCO is discounted so I don't remember I think I might have gotten it for like ten dollars but I love it I still have a lot left I've only used it a few times but it's kind of become like my favorite this week so I figured it should go in this video but um that's it for product favorites Another favorite I have are my hair extensions, um, and let me tell you a little bit about those because people have been asking me a lot of questions. Um, they're actually clip-ins. They're not permanent. I did not get permanent extensions. I would love to get permanent extensions, but I hear that it's really damaging on your hair, and the only kind that isn't damaging is Fusion, and it's super expensive. Um, I looked up one salon in the city that like wasn't even like a super nice salon. They were $2,000. I was just like, ugh. I want them so badly, but I just, I don't have that kind of money. A lot of people don't. And um, so I got clip-ins. I went, I'm gonna do an entire video on it, but yeah, so just be on the lookout for that. But just so you guys know, like they are clip-ins. Um, I'll show you one of the clips. Like, see, you can see like the track right there but it's totally natural looking. Um, it doesn't feel incredibly heavy, but I'll explain all of that in my hair extension video. My hair's a mess. And last favorite is this necklace I got from Forever 21. Um, I love it, I love it, love it. I got it recently so they still have it. And it has like pearls up here and then it goes into this really pretty flower design. And I almost didn't get it and I'm so glad I did it because um, I think I would have regretted it because I think it's really cute. That is it for July favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any of you guys want to do July favorites, post it as a video response because I love learning about other people's you know, product finds of the month, what they're really loving. One more thing before I wrap things up that I kind of forgot to mention. Um, best waterproof mascara, I'm loving this one. Of course, it's the only waterproof mascara I own, so I don't have very many to compare it to. But this is Maybelline's Full and Soft, and it was on clearance. So I got it because I needed a waterproof, but I love it. I used it in my drugstore tutorial too. Um, really, really good. I think it was $2.99. It was basically a steal and I really like it. So yeah, okay. I'm finally going to stop jabbering and let you guys go, but I hope you guys found this 
somewhat interesting and I'll see you guys soon.